Hi, I'm Dr. Adeline Tan from University of Malaysia, Sabah. I prepared this video clip is to expand Unit 9 Management in the course Fundamental of Entrepreneurial Acculturation. In this video clip, I will explain management function and the first important functions of management planning in more detail. The learning outcome of this video clip is for you to understand the basic concepts of business management, understand the first management function and able to do a simple SWOT analysis. There are two very important management concepts here. First, the management. Management is the process that involves the use of existing resources to achieve the goal of the company, to achieve the objectives of the company. While business is referring to any activities, economic activities that involve the production and selling of goods and services that could achieve or satisfy the needs of the company. Before we continue with management function, we look at what are the facts of a small business. In the world, there are tens of thousands of new companies being established, being set up every year. Some of these companies' success, they start from a small to medium business and growing to be a very big organization, corporation, nationally or globally, such as Gale, uh, Dell, Google, and other companies. This company can grow from a small to big companies due to the drive or passion of the enterprise. But and at the same time, they have a good management function and operation function. However, there are a big amount of companies that fail, that fail to survive. Many of these companies fail to survive because of the management. Because the managers or the, the owner of the companies do not know how to manage the company, to allow the company to survive. So this topic is to explain the management function in more detail. There are four management functions here. First, planning. Planning is the process of setting goals and designing deciding what are the strategies needed to do to achieve the goal of the company. Second, or stand for organizing, is to arrange the resources, the people, the tasks to accomplish or to achieve the goal of the company. Next, L. L is leading. Leading is to influence and motivate the workers to work harder to achieve the goal of the company and last to control to control by measuring the performance of every individual and department and to ensure that they are doing the right thing next i will explain in more detail what we mean by planning when we talk about planning planning actually is the process of setting up goals and formulating organizational activities or strategies that needed to be done to achieve that goal in planning there are two major components. First, the vision, mission, and objectives. And next, what are the strategies? What are the plans? What can they do to achieve the company? The importance of planning is first, to focus the future, to, to see what might happen in the future. And second, to able to face the uncertainty in the business environment, especially when we are facing a globalized market, there are many changes that happen every day. So we have to prepare for the uncertainty. Next, to determine the business direction or to determine what the business should do in the next step. Number four, to positively affect other management functions, to determine how to organize the resources of the company, to determine how to lead the people in the company, and so on. And last, to evaluate the performance of the company in a certain period of time based on our objectives or our goal. In planning, there is one way to manage that normally used by many big and small companies. This way of management, we call it management by objective. 
MPO. Management by objective is a process to manage by setting up the goals. So the first step of management is to set up the goals by setting up the goals of the corporate as a whole and the goals for each department, the goal for each uh, parties and goal for each individual. After we set the goals, then each department, each, organize, each individual in the organizations will start to develop the action plans. They will know what to do next. And then after they set up the action plan, they will start to work the plan or implement the plan. When they implement the plan, they will have to do review, review, maybe midterm review. And this review is very important to see whether they are doing the right thing. If they are not doing the right thing, then they have to do correction action. They have to go back to plan the action, action plans, develop the action plan and implement it again and review it again. By the end of the uh, by the end of the a certain period, for example, one year, normally one year, they will start to check the performance of everybody and then those who are working well, there will be a praise for their performance. Those who achieve the goal or they even achieve better than the goal, then there will be a praise with, uh, with uh, the for maybe financial achievement, uh, financial support or other things. So after this appraisal, then they have to set up new goals again. And this management project will be uh, continue to, to lead or to manage the company by objectives. Next, when we below at planning, we have to bear in mind there are many different types of plan here. All these plans have to start by looking at what are the mission statement or the, what are the objectives or goal of the company. Then they start to plan uh, strategic plans for the company as a whole. This is a long-term plan, let's say for three years. And this are planned by the senior manager. Then the middle manager have to plan the tactical plan or tactical goals based on the strategic plan. And the middle manager will plan this for the division, for example, for the whole production line. And this normally are the intermediate term planning. It might be one year or slightly low, higher, longer than one year. And last, the lower one, the bottom is the operational plans or, uh, or operational goal that planned by the lower management, for example, planned by the supervisors, planned by the individuals. These are short term plan, normally less than one year or even uh, for one year sometimes. These are the planning for each department, what to do next. Then we can look at here, when we talk about strategic goals, strategic plans, these are for future and then normally long term, will be the blueprint of the company and it will be serving the whole company, the goals for the whole company. And while tactical goals or tactical, tactical plans are uh, outcome based plan, certain plan that have to achieve and to execute for a certain period of time for a strategic plan. And the operational goals or operational plans are normally very specific and it will contain of uh, action steps what to do next. So it will help the individuals to, to work out the plan carefully. When we set up the plan, this is what we we have a simple ways to determine whether our objective or our the goal of the company is uh, of a very good goal. So we look at this smart. Smart is a way to set up the a very good goal. So the goal must be specific, telling exactly what to do, measurable, able to measure by giving some figures to measure, attainable or achievable, can be achieved by the organization or achieved by the department or individual, realistic, suitable for the company, and time-bound. For example, a company will set 
uh, within three years, we need to achieve uh, an increase in the sales by 3%. Okay, so within three years, the time bound, specific sales performance, measurable 3%, Fifteen three years, so this is achievable, and it must be realistic, suitable for the environment of the company. When we set up the goal, or when we do the planning, when we set up the goal, there are many different type of goals or objectives the company has to set up. All these goals are being guided by the values of the company. Values are the ethics that the company believes, the principles and the beliefs of the company. So we will start with setting up the vision. Vision will tell what are the purpose of the company in line with the company's value. So we will, it will tell where are we going, what do we try to achieve. While after that, we will set up mission. Mission will describe the vision in more detail. We will provide a time frame and what to achieve next. It will tell what do we do and who do we do it for. With that vision and mission, we will determine the strategic objectives. In another word, we will determine how are we going to progress, what are the plans and goals for certain people, certain department. It will be achievable within certain specific time frame using the resources that are available. And last will be the action by the people. People or the individual, the workers in the company will have to work the plan. Here we look at one example of a company. This company is a telecommunication company. So company wanted to be a world-class telecommunication company by providing total customer care. Next, the mission of the company is to provide total customer satisfaction as we strive to become a world-class telecommunication company. We will achieve this through developing people, products, and services of the highest quality while meeting the needs of our nation, employees, and shareholders. So these are the mission. Mission will tell in more detail what the company want to do and then who do they serve. When we are doing planning, we are facing some obstacles. So we have to know what are the possible problems that we are facing. First, planning will take a lot of time. The managers have to waste their time in planning. So managers have to try to involve more employees in planning so that they can reduce the time frame in planning. The second problem facing is unsuitability of plan due to a changing environment. Environment will change. So managers have to make sure that the plans are flexible and manager has to change the plan accordingly. And last, another big issue in planning is the implementation of the plan will take uh, some time. Sometimes it's difficult to plan. So manager has to ensure that the plan is something that workable, achievable with what they have. And then they have to have a good leadership to achieve the plan. Next, we look at SWOT analysis. SWOT analysis is looking at what are the strengths of the companies, what are the weaknesses of the companies, opportunities available in the market, and as well as what are the threats in the market. So let's look at the example. The strengths are such as the quality of products is higher than the competitors, better price, lower price, better relationship with suppliers or customers. While the weakness of the companies are such as the, they do not have good workers, they have a, facing a shortage of workers, and they do not have experience in marketing, or they do not have enough capital in doing the business. While opportunities are what we external factors we face, for example, uh, increase in customer income and better economic situation, while the threats are better competitors than us, competitors can do better than us, new competitors, lack of supplies, so on. So when we look at SWOT analysis, this is important that we know that we have to use different ways to do it. And so for this video clip, I will stop here. If you need to know more about this video clip, please refer to Smart Tree UMS or refer to my, go to my Schoology account to download the video clip.